I'm Chad from Chad DIY and today's project is this projector screen. Now it's about 100 inches diagonally and the best part is it only costs 30 bucks. So let's get started. First I'll start cutting my 1x4s to length. The wood form I'm building is going to be 89 inches by 52 inches. But you could make it whatever size you like depending on the final screen dimensions. Next I'll run all my boards to the router. I'm using a round over bit so the black cloth won't get snagged when I staple everything together. This probably isn't completely necessary, but I just don't want to take chances with the black cloth ripping. A little clean up with the shop vac and then I can start building the frame. Now I'm going to make my marks where I want the pocket screws to go. If you don't have a pocket hole jig, you could also use metal L brackets to hold everything together. Now I will start drilling all the holes. I have my Craig jig set up for 3 quarter inch boards. I'm going to drill 3 holes in each end of each board. Now I will start attaching the corners together. I'm using just a little wood glue and then using 3 screws in each end. This should be plenty strong to stretch the black cloth over. I'm adding one center 1x4 one in the middle of the frame just for a little extra strength. I'll start enrolling the black cloth out on the carpet. About 3 yards of this at Joanne's Fabric and it comes in 54 inch widths. This will be perfect for a 100 inch screen. Now I will start stretching and stapling everything together. I'm just using half inch staples in my air compressor. Once I have the one end finished, I'll just move to the next end and start stretching it some more. I'll just keep repeating this process on all sides until it's all stretched and stapled to the frame. A utility knife works great for cutting the fabric to length. Now I'll add some heavy duty picture frame brackets to the frame. Because the frame is so light, this is all you'll need to hang it to the wall. I've already figured out the stud location on the wall, so this is why I'm placing the hangers where I am. I'll just drive a couple screws into the studs and then the screen will be ready to hang. Now it's simple as matching up the hangers and the screws that I have in the studs. This would have been a little easier with two people, but I make it work with just myself. I'll just check it for level quick and now I can start building the black border. For the black border, I'm using a 1x3 select board. The higher quality board is a little bit more expensive, but it's worth it in the long run. I've decided to rip the boards in half because I didn't want quite as thick of edge around the projecting screen. But you could definitely skip this step if you don't have a bandsaw. I'm just going to paint all the pieces with a flat black spray paint. I ended up adding about three coats of spray paint to each board. When it's wet it does have the glossy finish but as it dries it will look a nice flat black. Instead of adding the black frame before I hung the screen on the wall I'm doing it afterwards. The reason I'm doing this is now I can match it up exactly to where the picture ends. It's a lot easier to do it this way than to do it first and then try to move your projector to match it exactly. I'm just using some 1 inch brad nails to attach the black border. Once again this might be a little easier with an extra set of hands but I made it work. So here's the final project. I think it turned out great and for 30 bucks you just can't go wrong. In the description I'll show what I paid for what. The biggest deal I got was this blackout cloth and on Amazon you, a lot of times you'll pay like $40 or something. I got this for I think like 12 or 13 on sale at Joann Fabric actually. So, but in the description I'll kind of lay it out how I got to the $30. Um, I hope if you like this project you hit that like button and as always please subscribe. Thanks.